Uh, the bushfire CRC, is that in the wind-up process? Uh, Senator, the bushfire CRC, um, uh, as you would be aware, uh, is to conclude um, uh, next year. Um, and there are current discussions with the CRC about uh, transition arrangements. Mm -hmm. um, now, I might defer to my colleague, uh, David Wilson, who has been in discussions with the CRC. Thank you. Uh, good morning, David Wilson, General Manager, Commercialisation Policy Branch. Uh, Senator, as Mr McIntyre said, um, the CRC, Bushfire Natural Hazard CRC, uh, completes its funding term under the program, mm -hmm. uh, 30 June 2021. The department uh, it has been engaging with the CRC in relation to, as with all CRCs, um, their transition plan for at the conclusion of their CRC funding. Uh, we have also, the government is actively considering uh, what would be future collaborative research arrangements in relation to bushfire and natural hazard planning and, so and research. You explain to me why the CRC has to wind up given that it's been a fairly active time for bushfire CRC in recent times? Well, Senator, if your question regards to the, uh, the CRC program policy. No, 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 this one, this one. Well, uh, in terms of the, you recall that in 2015, the government in, um, engaged David Miles to undertake the review of the CRC program. Yep. Um, that review made 18 recommendations. Mm -hmm. uh, they were all accepted by this government. Mm -hmm. uh, that included there would be no extensions to CRCs. That's right. Uh, they'd be limited to 10-year terms. That's right. Um, that there would also be no further the public good mechanism. That's right. Um, so, uh, and subsequent to that, and those are the government accepting all those recommendations in the Miles Review, the guidelines were, were, were changed in accordance to that. Um, since then, um, CRCs that have completed their terms <coughs> um, have um, successfully um, transitioned post the end of the CRC program funding. I see. So the bushfire CRC, which yeah, I think would be universally regarded as a highly effective organisation um, involving a very large number of our emergency services. Um, let me just have a look at it here. Uh, the participants, all the emergency services agencies from across Australia, um, every major university that's involved in research into bushfires, Commonwealth and state departments, international uh, collaborators, New Zealand, Portugal, United States, highly effective. Would be all the reviews would suggest that be the case? I think certainly the department and I think the government would agree so, that the CRC has been highly effective. So the effect of the policy position is they're not allowed to rebid, no matter how good they are, they're obliged under the CRC legislation to actually wind up, aren't they? So Senator, it's not the legislation, the program well, guidelines. Well, well, well let's be clear settings. about this. They can't trade while insolvent, they can't get extra money, they must wind up. Isn't that not the case? As I said, Senator, that the, the CRC has to uh, prepare for a transition plan at the end of the, the CRC program funding. Um, at the further point around the Miles review and the government's position is that the CRC program as an industry-led, industry-identified problems. So for this CRC, I, I absolutely agree that this is a large and very effective collaboration. Um, involving, as you, as you state, a number of universities, state emergency services, yes, yes. federal government yeah. um, agencies, Geoscience Australia, the Bureau of Meteorology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, as I said, the government actively engaging both with the CRC around what are transition yeah. options as well as what are future collaborative yeah. research arrangements to support bushfires and natural hazard research. Yeah, okay, so what's the alternative funding source if this work is to continue? Senator Jane Ash, the Head of Science and Commercialisation Policy Division. That would obviously be a matter for government. But I did want to just correct the impression that the CRC is um, in any way reducing its activities. The CRC is constantly working on ways to improve bushfire warning systems, yeah, yeah. its modelling software, safeguards to produce the physical and mental 
um, to protect the physical and mental safety of first responders. Um, as you'd be aware, Senator, it has a long-standing um, multidisciplinary research agenda on um, warning the public against natural disasters. Yep, yep. The Queensland Government indeed credits the warnings, research yep. and fire mapping tools with saving lives and the yep. town of Gracemere in November 2018. Yep. CRC researchers um, with the Queensland University of Technology have been equipping emergency services, services agencies with tools to better target imminent threat warnings and longer term safety campaigns. We saw that come into play through this bushfire season. Um, and during um, the season, the New South Wales Rural Fire Service, the Queensland Fire and Emergency Services and the South Australia Country Fire Service all received bespoke expertise from CRC researchers embedded with their teams. Um, and to better support emergency service workers, um, the CRC is also collaborating with Beyond Blue and the University of Western Australia to undertake a world first study into the mental health issues that emergency yep. service workers face. Um, research has also led, for example, to the development of Phoenix Rapid Fire, one of the main pieces of fire modelling and prediction software used in Australia. You've just demonstrated the value of the organisation. No one is disputing it. But I'll just read directly from their own publication. It is clear that the CRC is not eligible for refunding in its current form from the CRC program as the guidelines do not allow this and it is planning on this basis. It is also taken as a given that there cannot be a transition if the CRC cannot demonstrate value to its core partners by delivering on its commitments over the remaining of the current period. Now, there's no extra money coming out of the core partners, is there? Senator, um, I'm aware that the Bushfire and Natural Hazards CRC, the Chair, the CEO and other members of the CRC have been in active transition planning. Um, they have very detailed transition planning yeah. that they have engaged Where's with the money coming responding from, organisations, is... <laughs> also with state and the Commonwealth Government. Um, so, Senator, um, those discussions are very active and mm. um, future funding from um, the Government would be a, a matter for consideration. By the Government. And so, we recently lost the ETH program, right? and we was an establishment, and according to the, the finance department, there's establishment of a $4 billion emergency response fund. So, Senator, you would have to direct those questions yes, to I the would. education but department. Surely, has the department made any effort to secure additional funding for this incredibly valuable CRC, this extraordinarily successful program? So the from any other source within government. So as you can see, Senator, the department certainly values um, the work of the CRC, as does the government. I know that there have been um, you know, extensive engagements between ministers and the CRC, as with other agencies working very actively in relation to bushfire science. Um, so um, you know, the government well appreciates the value of the Cooperative Research Centre. At what point does the, board cease to, the CRC's board cease to exist? Senator, as I said earlier, the CRC program funding finishes on June 30 June 2021 next year. The board, it's a non-profit company, limited, limited guarantee company. Um, as they move into their, the, the next financial year, um, uh, at that point in time, the, the company would have to um, be, make its preparations for what its future transition arrangements are. And it cannot trade while it's insolvent, can it? Well, I, I, Senator, I don't think I there's don't any suggestion of that, that Senator. That is the case, yeah. So that gives you your timeline, doesn't it, as to when it must cease to operate? As Mr Wilson has outlined, um, there is an end date to the funding from the Government, Senator. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, now, I'll let lead off on the R&D tax incentive now. <laughs>